So the first part of the course is all about the different etiologies of toothwear. Because in reality, toothwear is not all created equal. There is some toothwear that looks horrendous and yet is incredibly predictable to treat. There's other toothwear that might not look as horrendous, but might be highly susceptible to breaking porcelain. One of the biggest problems with toothwear, and it's why it's so confusing to dentists, is as teeth wear, the teeth erupt to maintain their occlusal contact. Either that or the patient loses vertical dimension of their occlusion. So when you have a patient who has a lot of tooth wear, their teeth aren't in the right place. And yet the dentist who's looking at them wants to try and restore them where they are. It doesn't work well. So we go through etiologies, which helps with prognosis. Then we go through patterns. And then we go through, all right, so I'm gonna get the teeth in the right place and now I'm gonna restore this patient. Um, how do I know it's gonna work? So we spend a lot of time on what the restorations need to look like in the end-to-end -end position, in the pathway position. Uh, we spend a lot of time talking about vertical dimension and can you open it and how much can you open it and what happens after you open it because some of these wear cases you do need to open the bike quite a bit. And then the other big problem with wear cases um, is some of these teeth get really short. Do you crown lengthen the tooth? Do you do root canals? Do you do post cords? What do you do to be able to restore these teeth? And then day two, and I think one of the most beneficial parts of that course, is the morning is all case after case after case, start to finish. And they're all different. They're all chosen because they have a different type of wear and a different pattern. And we walk through the treatment planning step by step for each of the different cases. What I discover is dentists love being able to see a case go start to finish, and they love being able to see a case that they have sitting in their office. Because most of these people have these cases sitting in their office on models sitting on their desk, and they just don't know what to do with them. And then in the afternoon of the second day, we actually spend a fair amount of time on implants in people that grind their teeth. Because implants in people that grind their teeth have a, a much higher risk factor for fractured porcelain because the implants are more rigid than teeth. So we talk about how do you treat and plan around that? What's the occlusion look like when you know you have to put implants in these people? How do you minimize the risk of broken porcelain or abutment failure? We also talk about material selection in people that grind their teeth. If I'm gonna restore an implant or natural teeth, um, I need stronger materials, so what do I use? And then finally, we end the second day with appliances for people who grind their teeth. What, what kind of a bite appliance do I use if my patient grinds their teeth um, to protect porcelain, to protect natural tooth structure? So it's a really fun seminar, to be honest. It's really fun. I think it's very comprehensive, going from the etiology through how you manage the occlusion to showing the cases, to showing the things about implants and materials and appliances. Um, but that's essentially the two days.